Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Razor. So we're gonna be doing a Core Loco Tunnel, Core Loco Tunnel, Notorious Monster Guide here in Final Fantasy XI. And the first Notorious Monster we're gonna be fighting is Thune. He spawns right around in here on the map, under this bridge, or to the right of the bridge, or over here maybe. Um, every one one hour. It's about an hour. About an hour respawn time, so. Let's go over the guide for Thune. So for Thune, he's a ranger, level 43. This is a unconfirmed level, though. I don't know if that's his exact level or not. He has 3,000 or more HP. Drops in Pettis earrings, 22.2%. With a latent effect of range attack plus one. Which to me is kind of much, pretty much garbage, so it's not even worth. It's not even worth getting. He also drops a low amount of gill, and you can still gill from him as well. So let's go ahead and fight Thune here. I am level 50, warrior sub 24 sub dark knight. He likes to spam catapult. Should be able to kill my little fifty. Yeah, and the other, the other Gigas are going to show up to help him. So you got to be careful about that. There's no Gigas near him, so... Alright, uh, but that was Thune. So I'm going to cut the video here and meet you the next notorious monster here in Core Local Tunnel. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm here, we're here at the next notorious monster here in Core Local Tunnel. This is Falcatus R and I. Let's go over the guide for Falcatus. So for Falcatus, Falcatus, Aranai, weak to ice, level 32, and drops spider web up to times three, 94.5% chance, and web cutter, 22.7% chance. The web cutter is a side that has 40 damage, 480 delay, and has enhanced resist slow. It also stun against vermin. So let's go ahead and fight Falcatus here. Oh wait, first in order to spawn it, there will be huge spiders all along this path right here. And it spawns off the huge spiders, so keep fighting the huge sp spiders over and over again until Falcatus spawns. Burnt Armor Mouse Curve is going down. It's only level 32, it should be relatively easy. Alright, we got him. And it dropped the web cutter, alright. 
So now, um, let's see. See if I can find, um, Oh man. I'm trying to find them. There it is. Now. Anyway, you'll find out how to get to this map. Um, basically, this is the entrance to it right here. And it leads around to here, so that's where the that's where that notorious monster spawns. It's hard to show you what map it's on. I guess I could try to find it. Um let's see here. Is it map three? Yeah, it's map three. So yeah, let's get the map three and then you'll be able to fight R and I. So I'm gonna cut the video here and I'll meet you in the next notorious monster and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm here at the next notorious monster here in Coraloka Tunnel. This is Cargo Crab Calling. Alright, on this map right here where I'm at now, there's gonna be a, there'll be a single clipper. One clipper right around in here. And it spawns Carbo Cargo Crab Calling. Let me find the map for you real quick. Um, hold on. Okay, so it's map four. And, like I said, fight one clip, the one clipper that spawns, and you'll spawn cargo crab calling eventually. Let's go over the guide for cargo crab calling. It's a paladin, weak to ice and lightning, level 34 to 37, drops crab shell, up to two, 51.4% chance. Land crab meat up to two, 100%. And nad, nad root, nad ours, or something like that, nad ours, something like that, 14.1%. The nadders is a sword that has 18 damage, 236 delay, plus three water resistance, and adds poison. So let's go ahead and fight cargo crab call in here. Like most crabs, he's got a lot of defense, obviously. Go ahead and use mighty strikes to be able to kill him quicker. And it's dead, alright. Oh, it also drops gill as well. I got 1200 gill from fighting it. And I, I got the natters, yes. Yep, right there, natters. Or natar, or something. I don't know how to pronounce that. But you see it right there. So I'm going to cut the video here and I'll meet you the next notorious monster here in Core Loka Tunnel. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm here at the next notorious monster. Dame Blanche. Let's go ahead and go over the guide for Dame Blanche and then I'll tell you how to spawn it. So for Dame Blanche, 
week to light and fire level 37 to 39 it has 1800 it has less or more than 1800 hp it drops sacinet cloth up to four 100 percent and gill 3600 to 6000 gill and you can also steal between 1500 to 3500 gill So now how to spawn. How do you spawn Dame Blanche? Well, there'll be bogeys in this area on the bottom. As you can see, there's a bridge up there. We're on map 5, by the way. Um, right around in here, there'll be bogeys. Fight the bogeys over and over again until Dame Blanche spawns. So let's go ahead and fight Dame, Dame Blanche. Oh crap. I should have summoned Kupipi for this. Oh well. We should be alright. Yeah, we'll be alright. We are level 50 after all. Alright, we got it. We got 3600 gil for that. And I'll show you the Sarsenet Claw. This finely textured cloth has been woven using extremely complex techniques originating from countries in the Far East. Alright, so that was Dame Blanche. There's one more notorious monster here. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you that you're going to need iron ore to spawn this particular notorious monster. So, go back to the auction house or I think you can buy iron ore as well. You can also get it from drops and you can get it from mining as well. But just get iron ore. One thing of, one thing of iron ore and we'll be able to spawn the next notorious, the last notorious monster here. So I'm going to get Iron Ore off screen. Then I'll meet you at the final notorious monster here. And Coral Loka Tunnel. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And we're fixing to fight the final notorious monster here in Coral Loka Tunnel. See this question mark here? I'm right here on the map. It's going to be different for you though. It'll be in a different spot for you, so... But for me, it's here. This is one of the spots that you have to trade the iron ore to. So I got the iron ore. Trade. And here's the final notorious monster, Morian Worm. I'll go over the guide for Morian Worm after we're done fighting it. Alright. Oh crap. I'm gonna cut the video here and I'll be right back after I clear out these worms. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna go over the spawn location for the art the question mark. So for me it was here. And it can also go outside the map here. Here I'll show you. Come over here. And as you can see, it's not on the map. But down here, there could be a question mark as well. This is map 2 here. So right here, or out, out of the map over here. And then I'm going to change map for you. Uh, map 1. There's a chance it'll be around here. And then outside the map. Outside the map, out, out here somewhere. Somewhere around in there. So right in here, and then right outside the map. Um, for the third map, and this is the final map it can be on. Right here, on this side. 
and on this side it could be on this side as well. So that's the six spots that the iron ore, the six spot, six spots where the we have to trade the iron ore to. It could be there's only one of them up at a time though. So you gotta find which one where the you gotta find where the question marks at basically, and then trade the iron ore to it, and you will spawn Marion Worm. So now let's go over the guide for Marion Worm, and then I'll end the video. All right, for Marion Worm, it's a black mage weak to wind and light. Level thirty to thirty-two drops copper ore up to three ninety-seven point four percent. Tin ore up to to 41.9%, iron ore 27.4%, dark steel up to 16.2%, and Marion Taflum 15.4%. Now I believe I did get the Marion Taflum. Yeah, right here, Marion Taflum. It's for all races and all jobs, MP plus 3, intellect plus 1. So that'd be pretty good for a mage at around that level. Alright, so we're done with all the notorious monsters here in Coraloka Tunnel. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Coraloka Tunnel Notorious Monster Guide. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other guides on my channel. Please subscribe. Later.